As the sun banishes the shadows, the second day of the quest begins. For the six warriors below me, the title of Ultimate Warrior still lies ahead, but there are many challenges yet to be faced. Warriors, whether you gained rings or lost lives, today is a new day. Let us see what is in your hearts as we begin. I'm feeling good, I'm in first place, and I'm looking forward to what's to come. I am feeling very good about the results of the first day. I had a little struggle at the start, things were a little rocky, but I managed to very nearly break even on the day, and I'm excited to see what this next day has to hold. I'm feeling great, I'm doing better than I thought, I'm only three behind second, and the one life I lost is to the guy in first place. But remember, I'm the sun, the center of the solar system, I can't wait to see these guys orbit around me. You know, I'm not... I'm not feeling too good right about now, but you know, uh, being in here in fifth place, tied with that that Otis fella. You know, I've got my pet fishy junior here. I'm the moon. I rise up every single every single night, and you know, it's just the morning right now. So once that nighttime comes, I'll be back in first place. You know, I'm definitely not doing great, but I'm not last. You know, so that's okay. <laughs> you know, there's opportunities for me to rise and fall, and I've started to rise a little bit. As long as I'm not like dead last, I'm not too like upset. I guess I, I just want to stay in at this point. I'm not, I'm not feeling too great right now. Uh, I'm in last place overall. Things are not looking up for me. Hopefully, I can pull out a couple challenge wins and you know bump up my placements. I feel like I'm eating my words right now from the start of first day but you know there's there's always a chance for anything listen well by day's end one of your number will fall so work hard and showcase why you must continue on our journey your first challenge awaits come Warriors, the next challenge lies at the peak of this ancient ceremonial tower. Let us rise up to meet it. Come. Warriors, we stand before the puzzle build, a challenge where you will work in teams of three. One warrior from each team will be locked inside the central room behind me, which contains a detailed build. The other two warriors will take a spot on one of the two platforms yonder, to the left or the right, each with their own building materials. The goal is simple. Replicate the build as closely as you can within five minutes. The team with the more accurate structure, with less mistakes, will gain gold rings. But the losing team must forfeit a precious life. And it seems you are all in your teams. Jowry, Devulo, Otisk, you will form one team. Socrat, Stian, Sancho, you will form their opponents. You have been placed into your teams. Let the challenge begin so let's just do like block by block for the flooring so the outer corners so the corner and the two connecting adjacent are moss blocks and then connected in the middle like of those rows are green okay. terracotta and that goes with the all entire corners, ring all corners are what um moss blocks a3 uh, is a green car not uh green terracotta i have it long terracotta you mean yeah uh sure yeah and then okay. A, 4, and 5 are both moss blocks. Okay, cool. Inside the corner, so the fourth block creating the square, for all moss blocks is green terracotta. Creating the square, okay. It's like a checkerboard yes. almost. I cannot see the middle, so are you out of like moss blocks and... I've got one moss block and four then terracotta. The very middle should be a lime terracotta. I can't see the very middle. Okay, so we don't have enough lime terracotta for that. 
then okay, then that just put down a moss block. Is the moss? Is there a moss block in the very middle? I can can't see, see it, but if you don't have blind hair caught it, sure. Maybe do we have the star pattern wrong? No, no, okay, no. So is it, it right. is it like a is it like a crosshair? Like and then yes, is it yes, like, yes. Okay, so okay, so we got it. In the northwest corner, it is a a peony, and then outside on the moss blocks are pink tulips. So a peony adjacent yes. to pink tulips. Mm -hmm. A four is the uh, flower. One flower, got it. And then A five is the like light blue. I got uh, it. Flower. Southeast, there is nothing in the corner and two pink tulips. Yes. And then on the southwest, blue orchid, two cornflowers. Okay. B2 is the mossy wall. Mossy, mossy wall, cobble wall. wall. Mossy cobble wall. Mossy, mossy cobble wall. Got it. Okay. Is, is a mossy then... cobble wall in the corners of the of the middle? Uh, yes. Okay. So that's all four of them are in like a square. Wait, no, except for the... Uh, except for... Um, uh, except just for keep going, just keep going, uh, B3, B3, B3. And then we're going to the east corner. It is a leaf, then flower, then another leaf. Gotcha. Then on north, it is three leaves. Gotcha. Then on west, it's flower, leaf, leaf. Okay. Mossy stone is D4. D4. That's a wall. That's a mossy stone wall on D4. Mossy, co a mossy cobblestone? Mossy, no, stone brick. Mossy, got it. Southwest, it's just the stone wall, and then northwest, it is stone then brick. Okay, so stone, stone, stone wall. Brick. Yeah. Yeah, they're stone all walls. wall and then stone and then brick. Okay. I still got a lot of leaves. Put a non-flowered bush except for the um, except for the one on the west. That one would be a flowered one. Okay, right, put a flower one here. Yeah. Yep. And then in the very center of the entire thing, build two high with the mossy uh, cobblestone. It moves inward from south to north, you're saying? Yeah, south no. to north, one block, and then on top of that one block is another leaf. Two leaves. So two leaves, two leaves, leaf, leaf. Gotcha. Yeah. And then looking west, it is a leaf and flower doing the same thing. So from west to east or east to west? Uh, West to east. West to east. Okay. So on and the, the flower, west block, looking east. Yeah. It is leaf flower, and then north to south, it is leaf flower. Looking east to west, it is leaf leaf. Leaf leaf, okay. Leaf what, are the, leaf. what do you put the leaves? Where do you put the leaves? Where do you put okay, the leaves? Put the leaves, okay, put four, put the leaves on top of the ones that you already have. Even on top of the flower one? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. yes. So, what other blocks do you have? Uh, I've got mossy brick, cobblestone, though. two mossy cobblestone, mo mossy stone brick stairs. stairs. Okay, and then just add another mossy cobblestone under that mossy cobblestone. Okay, I think you might. And then that's all we have time. Put, put the, the flowering, flowering on, put it on, flowering yeah. on. And then go inside one on each side. Time is up, warriors. You must stop building. Warriors, it is time to reveal which of your builds is superior. I will now drop the walls, and you may see the build you were trying to replicate. And there is a very clear winner. Us. Yes, let's go. The winning team belongs to Dabulo, Otisk, and Jowry. And Jory. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super proud of the boys here. I think I did a, a pretty good job with explaining and they did a great job listening, so I'll let them speak for it. Uh, yeah, as much as I'd like to say I played a part, uh, he did an amazing job explaining, and Otis did an amazing job listening. Yeah, I think I think we took a lot of, like, precaution in, like, ensuring that it's, like, facing a an exact direction, and I think that preciseness definitely helped. Um, <laughs> I mean, I think a little more help than that, but <laughs> good looking at them, but we did good. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I think it's um, abundantly clear that the right call was not made on who should be explaining. I yeah, think we came in I don't know. Good plan but unfortunately it didn't work out yeah we tried our hardest we had a we had a system going coined by myself but um it just didn't work out it seemed like we just didn't have we just didn't have as much speed as the other team and um we were just a little bit confused by i mean me and me and uh soccer were just a little bit confused by some of uh stian's uh leave explaining and everything tabulo jowry otisk you were fantastic with your communication in this challenge, and Dabulo, you should be commended for your leadership here. 
you have each gained two gold rings for your haul. Stian, Sancho, Socrat. You were good in this challenge, and against another team you may have found more success, but you were too slow, and as such, you must each lose a life. Warriors, Navar's dark influence continues to grow across these lands, and here beneath the mangroves, surrounded by fetid waters, one of his wisest subjects remains, a creature of wit and wisdom, the Riddle Demon. One at a time, you will each enter his grotto and stand before him. Choosing one of six riddles, you will have just a few short moments to puzzle your way to the correct answer. If you are correct, you will be gifted a ring and may leave the grotto. If you are incorrect, however, you will fall endlessly into the demon's grasp. Jowry, you are in first place, so you must show your fellows how this challenge is done. Jowry, are you ready to face the riddle demon? I'm ready. Then enter. Okay. I sound like one letter, but I'm written with three. I show you th things when you look through me. What am I? I sound like one letter, but I'm written with three. I show you things when you look through me. I think I have an answer. May I answer? Uh, my answer is an I. You are correct, Warrior. Thank you. I'm feeling great. I'm happy I got. I'm happy I got it right. Although the riddle, the riddle to me was a little bit obvious. I ended up like, like thinking to myself like over and over, just making sure it wasn't like a trick question. But oh, it was, it was fun. Yeah, let me take a little peek. All right. I belong only to you, yet others use me more than you do. What am I? Eh. Yeah, I like the answer. <laughs> um, what is my name? You are correct. Thanks. You know, I got my riddle pretty easy. This day has been great so far, and uh, I can't wait to just ride it out and shine on. Hello, riddle demon. Does it talk? Choose a riddle. And I have my riddle riddled. Thank you, riddle demon. Riddle. I run but never walk. I have a mouth but never talk. I have a head but never weep. I have a bed but never sweep. What I am I? Why, you would be one of the most famous riddles of all time. You would be a river. You are correct. That is three for three. Uh, I was very, very nervous coming into this just because I know riddles can definitely be very tricky in a high pressure situation, but getting an old classic was definitely very comforting. Holy mackerel, that's a lot of riddle. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that one right there. I just punch it. Or do you give me this riddle demon? I punch it. What do we got here? Um, huh? Oh, okay. Let's see here. I am as light as a feather, yet no person can hold me for long. What am I? I'm light as a feather. No person can hold me for long. Okay, I guess I'll think it out. Maybe not a member, maybe a thought. I don't know if those are light. No person can hold on to me for long. Like, that makes sort of sense. That's kind of all I got, so I'm gonna go for thought. Yeah, I, I guess I'm gonna go for thought. Then turn to face the riddle demon. Wow! 
The answer was breath. It sucks because I, I knew some of the other ones and I figured out mine a little bit afterwards. Especially there's like a river one. Like I would have gotten that one. That's like in my element, you know, but. Oh, what is up, my man Riddler? Oh, I'm going to take the left one here. Lucky left. You, you okay with that, man? All right, cool. I am always hungry and will die if not fed. But whatever I touch will soon turn red. What am I? Okay, this is a curious one. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let me read it again. Uh, I was always hungry and will die if not fed, but whatever I touch will soon turn red. Um, wait. Oh, okay. What is a fire? You are correct. Yay! I did it! I came close to the fire. I wasn't really that sure what it was, but you know, I dug deep into my brain and remember one of the old classics, remembering that even though I'm touching some red, getting that close to the fire, losing losing lives, I can always bounce back. I'm gonna vomit comment all over this real demon. I guess I gotta take this one. Oh, whoopsies. If you drop me, I'm sure to crack. They give me smile, and I'll always smile back. What am I? If you drop me, I'm sure to crack. But if you smile, but if but give me a smile, and I'll always smile back. Dude, this is not going well for me. Dude, I have no, I have no clue. I'm thinking like skull or something. Um, smile back. Something that smiles. Warrior, oh, shit. you must okay. give an answer. Um, I am a mirror. Well done, warrior. Fuck. Holy shit, dude, that came to me like literally last second. Oh man, dude, I, I cannot be happier right now. I'm still in last overall, I believe, but... You know, I just got a comp win, so I'm hoping I can ride this high and hopefully not be in last by the end of the day. Warriors, you have outsmarted the Riddle Demon, and five of you have gained a gold ring for your efforts. Place them on your standards. Otisk, you fell victim to the Riddle Demon's deadly trap door. I will bring you back. Your lack of knowledge must not go unpunished. You must lose a life. Warriors, we stand outside this, the ancient wizard's tower. Once home to a sorcerer of great renown, a friend of dragons, hater of balance, it is now an empty shell of its former self. And yet for two of you, it could prove fruitful. Jowdy, you are in first place. Step forwards. For this challenge, you may choose any one of the remaining warriors to join you, but they will share your fate. Who do you choose? Uh, I will pick Stian. Let's fucking go. Warriors. In these ancient cellars, a hoard of gold awaits inquisitive warriors if you can harness the knowledge of the ancient wizard. For at the far end of these chambers are slumbering demons, which can only be banished by brewing a splash potion of harming. You must use the resources throughout the cellar and the surrounding rooms to craft two of these potions, one for each of you. However, each of the surrounding rooms requires their own potions to navigate, so stay vigilant, be attentive, 
and work fast. For you can only stay in the cellar for so long before the demons wake. Are you ready to face the wizard's brew? Absolutely. Then, let the challenge begin. All right. All right, yep. Brewing stands. Here. Okay, let me let me give you one of these books. Got glowstone. I mean, I know a lot right. of the potions. Yo, look in your look in your look in your pocket chest right here. Brewing equipment and items are hidden throughout the main room. The warriors must find them before they can start brewing potions. Uh, what do you have in terms of resources on your side? Because I have very few resources. Um, I have the glistening melon. Can you can you okay, see I, that? I chest? saw that. I saw that. Okay, I just got a fish. There's a chest underneath your desk. Your yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I looted it already. Okay, what um, do you what what materials do you have? Uh, I've got glass bottles, gunpowder, and glowstone right now. Okay, I have glistering melon and a puffer fish. And a puffer fish. Wait, okay, wait, hit. I found another chest. Okay, I found the brewing stand. Um, you have the water bottle, so I'll pass that to you. Yeah, you hand me the brewing stand. It's in the chest. Um, the other chest, the other chest. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, may you, do you have, uh, we need nether wart. Um, can you look around in your... Yes, yes, yes. Area uh, for nether wart. I fear my warriors are truly blind. I don't see any more chests in my... I might have another. I might have another. Oh. Are you certain that? Oh dear. Um. Don't don't stress out, don't you? No, I'm not stressing out. I'm just looking. Well, we don't need we don't need nether ward for all potions. There's some potions that you don't need a nether ward. For. Uh. We also need blaze powder. We do need blaze powder. Okay, that has to be hidden. So. There, there is a chest in the corner of your room. There is a chest in the corner of your I room. I saw that. No, I saw that. I saw that. What? Is there a chest in the corner of mine? Oh my gosh! Um, there is. <laughs> what, is okay. what is it? What is it? It's blaze powder. Do we have nether wart? We don't need nether wart for most of them. Okay. Nether wart is required in all potion recipes, Stian. No, you, you do need nether wart. You do need nether wart. For all of those? Yeah, and uh, awkward potion is what we need for most of them, and you need another wart to make that happen. We have no way of getting another wart right now. How did my warriors pass the eyesight medical test before this tournament? Speed, jump boost, and fire resistance. You need another wart for all of those. Ah, uh, dude, I don't know. Oh, I'm I'm so fucking dumb, dude. There's another wart right here. They have found the nether wart. There is hope for these warriors yet. Hey, I, I pass it to you. It's in your chest. Okay. I'm, I, dude, I'm so sorry. I'm so dumb. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So what I'm gonna do first is. So okay. Wait. I have a pufferfish. I have a pufferfish. Okay. Fish. Hand me the pufferfish, please. Pass it to you. Each step of potion making requires 20 seconds of time to brew. The warriors must manage their time effectively. And then, oh man, I am. We are really low on time here. Keep oh going. shoot! Wait. Okay, I can make, I can brew awkward potions in bulk to use time efficiently. Okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Keep doing that. Um, keep doing that. All right. I'm gonna see what I can get through water breathing real quick. Okay. Um. You might. Okay. It's either gonna be a rabbit's foot or magma cream. So once you get that, pass it over to me. Magma cream. Okay, I'm gonna yeah, pass yeah, that yeah. to you and then check back down here. Oh wait, no, I need to make your potion, don't I? Okay. No, um, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have the water bottles. Pass me the. Yeah. I'll, okay. I'll pass it to you once it's done. Okay, you're gonna need to brew another set of awkward potions, so just yeah. do that while I'm going in. Absolutely. Need we need to use our time efficiently more. because yeah, yeah. we have a we have a severe disadvantage going to the rest of this. Right, so. Okay, start brewing awkward potions. All right. I'm gonna quickly check and see if there's anything else to use in here, uh, just in case. Let me know once you've obtained something out of that room. All right. Okay, I got and sugar. So you got your speed. All right. Uh, is there anything else in that room? Nothing else. Okay, hand me the sugar. Okay. I haven't been timing this. We may kind of have a hard time. We're good. We're good. We're good. Hey, um, hey, no, no, no! Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We just need, we need to keep it, calm. It comes keep... down to how much time we wasted at the beginning. Yeah. Looking I think we figured reason. it out. I think, I think we're doing pretty good right now. I'd say we lost maybe like a little over half of the time. We're on good pace right now. 
Only a few minutes remain. You must hurry, lest you end up like Group 1's team. Rabbit's foot. I'm gonna brew myself a jump boost. I think I have enough awkward potions to the point where we can okay. uh, make something um, happen. But do you have point. enough- Okay, did you still have some extra sugar, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get a spider eye from this one, most likely. We need to make a- uh, uh, Fermented spider eyes, too. Okay, yeah, so we need we need a splash potion of healing. Okay, we need a fermented spider eye. So once I get that, I'll pass it over to you. And then I already passed over my melon. It's in that chest. I, I think the rest of this will be straightforward. We just, wait, yeah. you, have brewing, you have a brewing stand? I, I passed my glistening melon over there. All right. Okay. So do you have enough for like two of whatever? Yeah, I'm going to make more awkward potions. Um... Time is running short, warriors. You must act fast. Not up longer like that. Okay, I grabbed the fermented spider eyes. Okay. Okay, let me pass these. Uh, do over we have regular you. spider eyes? No, we don't need regular spider eyes. We don't. They're in your chest. They're in your chest. I passed the fermented spider eyes. So use the melon. Oh, and then we turn that into harming. Okay, you're right. Yeah, you're right. And then we. Are there need, multiple ways then, to make harming potions? Like? No, we. This is the only way that we could do it with the stuff that we have. And then once you're done with that, uh, so you put in the glistening melon first, and then it's fermented spider eye, and then you have This shouldn't take longer than a minute. Ah. Okay. <laughs> What's what's in right now? Is the fermented spider eye in right now? Yes. All right, we fumbled a little bit at the start, but we we. we I fumbled the entire we... time, dude. I just drank your potion. No, no, See, dude, look, it's fine. Me jump, I'm going high. Look dude, it's at fine. me, hey, hey. dude. Hey, I'm hey, hey, it's fine, it's fine. Ten. Okay, give me just one of them. Do you have it? Okay, I got my rings. I got mine. Right, Let's go, go dude. <laughs> Congratulations, warriors. Two rings for each of you. Oh. you go first. <laughs> we won, but it doesn't feel like we won. I'm, I'm still, I'm still coming off of the uh, side effects of all these, all these potions. But my voice is is hoarse, and that might have been due to the events of this challenge. Yeah, I mean, we we did fumble a little bit. But we picked up the pieces when we needed to. We, we barely made it out. I'm on a two comp win streak. Hopefully this could be my big comeback. Jowdy, Stian. You worked well as a team. And though you had a rough start, you were able to vanquish the demons and claim the wizard's treasure. Two gold rings each are your reward. Well done. Warriors, as you dry yourselves off from the journey here, I'm afraid that won't last for long, as in this challenge, you'll be diving into the depths of this lake in search of sunken treasure. Beneath this island lies the remnants of an ancient city, flooded and reclaimed by marine wildlife. But you may find treasure in the barrels and chests to plunder. You will have just three minutes to search your way through the waters and claim as much treasure as you can. Gold pieces are worth three points. Silver pieces are worth two points. Bronze pieces are worth one point. But simply collecting the treasure is not enough, for you must bring your haul back to these storage boxes for them to count to your score. For the three warriors worth the highest value, gold rings are in order. But should you amass the least amount of treasure, you will lose a life. Stian, Sancho, Otisk. Depending on the results of this challenge, any of you three could potentially face Way of the Warrior. So I wish you the very best of luck. Warriors, this is your final challenge of the day to change the leaderboards. Are you ready? Sure thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then, let the challenge begin. The warriors will need to manage their resources, banking their money, and holding their breath for as long as they can during this challenge. A crazy challenge we got here. 
<laughs> All right. Yeah. What's going on, guys? <laughs> so I'm holding my breath, but also. So I'm going. <gasps> Okay. The warriors are silent, focused on collecting gold. Yes. I'm, I'm going to. Just you wait. Just you wait. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm adventuring on the, on the surface right now, but it doesn't seem to be much. But you guys should go up there, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's so colorful. It looks really nice. It's very colorful. Due to the nature of the banking system, we will not know who is in the lead until after the challenge is complete and the scores have been tallied. Oh, give me my breath back. <gasps> <laughs> oh, they're all taken. Nothing calms you down and prepares for a deep dive like hyperventilating. <laughs> the warriors searching closer to the surface may find bronze coins, but if they want greater riches, they must delve deeper into the sunken city. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. That worked good. No, you're not good. You should go back down. Yeah, I will. Very good. Oh boy! Someone just struck gold. How much time do I have left? <laughs> time is running down for the warriors. They must bank their treasure. Seconds remain. Get to your boxes, warriors. Oh. Time is up. I will now assess your treasure hoards. Warriors, we have tallied up your halls. And it is time to reveal who is in the lead and who will be facing Way of the Warrior. In first place, with 79 points, Jowry, three gold rings are yours. Ooh. 41 bronze, 16 silver, two gold. In second place, Stian, with 68 points, yeah. 40 bronze, 14 silver. Two gold rings are yours. Oh, shit. In third place, Dabulo with 49 points, 36 bronze, 5 silver, 1 gold. Sancho, Socrat, Otisk, one of you did not gain enough treasure to secure your lives. Sancho, with 37 points, you are safe. 24 bronze, oh my God. 5 silver, 1 gold. comes down to you two. Zokrit, Otisk. Zokrit, if you lose the life, then Stian will face Way of the Warrior. Otisk, if you lose this life, you will face Way of the Warrior. By just five points. Otisk, I'm sorry. You only got 25 points to Socrates 30. Oh, so you God. will be losing a life. Holy shit. Uh, yikes. No, I'm feeling good. I've taken quite a bit of first places today, but 
Uh, I'm happy I was able to get Steen out of the out of the gutter. He's very excited about it. <laughs> well, you you don't see these two bad boys right here. I'm on the high of a lifetime. I went from having five lives and two rings at the start of this episode, and now I have five lives and seven rings, which is still not that big of a jump. But I went on the three comp win streak. I'm starting to get my groove back. I'm starting to realize why I came here in the first place, and I'm hoping I can use this new wave of confidence uh, and ride it till the end. <laughs> you know. It's great feeling that I haven't lost something until that first, like since that first day, and I am just willing to ride it out. I'm almost net even from the start, having eight lives and eight rings. I'm feeling great right now, and I can't see, like I can't wait to see where I'm going. I'm feeling good, dude. I'm back. I'm better than ever, and I'm, you know, I'm here in my little retirement home. I don't need to worry about this way of the warrior thing, at least for today. I'm rooting for my, for my man Otis. I think he, I think he deserves to, to, uh, to make it past this way of the warrior. I think, and really, even though he's come back, he, he shouldn't be, he should be taking on that challenge right now. This last challenge was very scary, almost coming in last place and losing a life, just because lives are so precious right now, and. Today was not nearly as good a day for me, but I'm still holding on to third place, which is still very solid. So I don't think I have anything to be super worried about, but clearly everyone here is a strong competitor. <laughs> I mean, that's not good. <laughs> um, I definitely wish I dived down more because I only got bronze, actually. There's no silver or gold. And if I had even had a couple of those bronze but silver, but definitely gold, then it would have made the difference because it's a five difference. So, you know, I don't like my odds. I've the only challenges I've won are team-based ones, so we'll just see where the warrior goes, I guess. Warriors, you seem quite proficient under the water, and three of you gained gold. Jowdy, Steen, the Bulo. Place your prizes on your standards. Otisk, you only succeeded in gaining bronze coins. You should have dived deeper, and for that, you must lose a precious life. Jowdy, you end this day with nine lives and eight rings in first place. Dabulo, you end this day in second place with eight lives and eight rings. Socrat, you end this day in third place with seven lives and eight rings. Sancho, you end this day in fourth place with six lives and three rings. Stian, you end this day in fifth place with five lives and seven rings, clawing your way from the bottom. But Otisk, you end this day with just five lives and four rings, putting you in last place. Your fate will be decided. When dawn rose, I stated that one of these six warriors would find their quest at an end. Now is that time as we face this, the way of the warrior. To continue in this quest is the dream of all, yet for most, their road ends here. This course is specifically designed to defeat warriors like you. Otisk, after a series of events, you end the day in last place with five lives and four rings. As such, you will tackle this challenge. But do not despair, for if you are able to cross through the portal at the end of the course, you will continue on in this quest, two lives richer. In that case, the challenge will then fall to Stian to undertake. Do you have any words for your fellow warriors before we begin? Sure, uh, yes, I definitely uh, deserve to be here with my performance. Um, I've only won the team comps, but I mean, I was a good team player, but um, 
I definitely need to prove myself here that I deserve to be in this game. To be in this game, um, there's a good chance I'm not going to make it. And if that is the case, primary color game, you know, y'all are great. I hope you do well. Jeffles, you you honestly very shocked me this game. Not just because I've never played any, anything with you, and I didn't think like you would do so well. I don't know. And um, to uh, Steen and Sancho, you better hope I don't win. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> very well. Otisk. Your current lives represent the amount of attempts you will have at this course, being five. As you progress, you may come across gold blocks which act as checkpoints, so should you fall, you will be spirited back to them. But if you lose all of your lives, you will be vanquished. Step forwards. May the luck of the Raven's Eye be with you. Let the challenge begin. Oh boy, what we got going on here? Seems pretty simple so far. I think I felt that lag spike. Time to mess up. We, we make it past the first one. You have reached your first checkpoint, warrior. Um, I, think I, had a, I had a whole bit I was gonna do because it was like starting to kind of thunder out and I was gonna say, can you hear it? The, the waves. It's not really doing it anymore, so it's kind of, you know, worked into it like this. Oh no. <laughs> Four attempts remain. Mm. I don't want to say to say. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Three attempts remain. It was fun though, like, <laughs> I've had a good run. Um, I guess not really, but it was it was fun. I enjoyed uh, you know, my fellow warriors and, oh, here we go. Wait, I might be saying too soon, hold on. Hold off on that. So, yeah, I can definitely like sprint mode right now. Okay, okay. Interesting. Yeah. Oh boy, that was <laughs> good. Ah. You have reached your second checkpoint, warrior. much experience with this. This is a tough jump. Huh. Checkpoint's pretty close at least, but... Uh, I'll just... Hmm. Two attempts remain. Yeah, thank you again, <laughs> Raven, for having me on, and, uh... Appreciate the, uh attempt here to prove myself. I don't think I'm doing Tabari very good, though. <laughs> oh. ah, shaking, shaking a bit. I'll try to run it again, I guess. I don't want to risk it. Ooh. Oh! You are the first warrior to reach the third checkpoint. Oh, that honey. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> One attempt remains, Warrior. Right, thank you all. Good luck. It's been a pleasure and honor. Um, you know, if I don't make it, it was it was a good ride. Probably said that enough. I'm just gonna go. Let's just let's just we're gonna show why this is the the wave of the warrior, not the the way. Ooh. 
Oh, ouch. Oh, no! <laughs> Otisk, you fought hard, but for you, the title of Ultimate Warrior has passed on. But hold your head high, for not only have you made it this far an achievement within itself, but you did an impressive run at the Way of the Warrior. Do you have any parting words you wish to impart on us all? The wave rised and then it fell. That's all I got. <laughs> Say farewell to your fellows, and follow me to the dock. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 You did well. Holy shallow water. Oh, you! <laughs> Otisk, I bid you farewell. Thank you, Raven. Well, obviously I came here expecting I'd do a little better than this at least, but uh, you know, it's still really fun. Team challenges, I enjoyed fairly well, and it's not like I dislike the, the solo challenges, I just did not really perform well. So I'd definitely say, um, you know, come here to have fun, don't be too competitive, because even if you do lose, it's still, you know, it's still a, a great opportunity to, you know, like, it's been a while since the last Raven, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, it's great to to do this, so I just I just say make sure you have fun when you do it. And so, only five warriors remain, and in just three days, three more warriors will fall in this quest. Let us make camp for tonight, warriors. And as you light your campfires, remember this: your own self-belief is a flame that must also be rekindled daily. Farewell, my friends. Come. Next time on Raven. Can any of my warriors survive the Demon Square? Will anyone be able to cross the castle walls? Who will come last at the Deep Loch? And who will be the next to face Way of the Warrior? <laughs>